guys so let's look at a program to print the days of the week or months of the year using switch case these are both similar type of programs and hence i'll be covering it in a single video similar type of program meaning uh, both days of the week and months of the year have got a, a value or a number associated with it so when you find out the value associated with the particular day of the week or month of the year you just go ahead and print it so i've explained switch case in detail in my previous video i'll be linking the video below go through that and to see how the structure of a switch case is and then we can come back and take a look at this program so days of the week are numbered from 1 to 7 where it is typically assumed that 1 the days of the week starts from monday it's tuesday wednesday thursday Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So using switch case, we shifted in the previous video from Elsev ladder to switch case because switch case is more comfortable when you have to equate it to a particular value. So here also we can easily equate it to a particular value like 1 to 7 and then print the respective days of the week. So for the first program, the first part of this video, we'll be doing to print the days of the week. Let's assume we have declared a variable day and I've taken input for the variable day. So let's assume the user is going to enter any number between 1 to 7. How are you going to print the days of the week? Since it is already asked of us to use switch case, let's start with switch and day, which is the day number entered by the user. You can start comparing it with numerical values like this. Case 1, go ahead and print Monday. And after that, do not forget to put break. So you can keep on writing the same version for Monday up till Sunday. So for 2 it will be printing Tuesday and break. For case 3 it will be printing Wednesday and break. For case 4, printf Thursday and break. Case 5, printf Friday and break. Case 6 is Saturday and break. Case 7 is Sunday and break. You can also add a default case. It is not mandatory. You can enter a default case in which it has to print an invalid number or invalid input can be printed. This is purely optional. Invalid input. And there is no break. You can close the uh, switch case structure. So this is how we will be doing of how you equate each day number with a value from 1 to 7 and you can go ahead and print the respective day. You can add a uh, little modificationary sentences where you can already print up something like the day is and leave some space so that one of these days will get attached to the sentence and then it prints the day is Monday, the day is Tuesday, the day is Sunday, so on and so forth. So if you're doing that, then you might have to ignore this slash n. 
otherwise you might get an output like the day is and then Monday on the next line. If you want to print in this format like a better way of output, you can go ahead and adjust your ways. We will see that when we do the coding. Now very similar to this is where we have to number our months from 1, 2, 3 all the way till 12 where 1 starts from January, 2 is February, uh, 3 is March all the way till 12 which is December. It is a very similar structure. So it follows the same thing. You can input a value for the variable month and you can go ahead and write your switch case where it accepts the month number into the structure and you can start with writing case 1 print f slash in January break case 2 print f February break case 3 March print f March break and this will keep on going up till you have to print case 12 print f December and break and you can have a default um, case it's not mandatory you can write invalid input or just invalid and you can close the structure so since it is a very long set of uh, cases I will not I'm not entering all the values but you understood the gist of it so these are both similar to each other where you have to print the days of the week or the month of the year using switch case this is much more easier if it is not specified using switch case, you can use either or your else ladder or your switch case block. It doesn't make much of a difference. It prints the same way. Now let's see modifications of how you can modify this in the code. Let's start with coding for days of the week. So I'll be entering int day because obviously days of the week can only be a number. So go ahead and you can ask the user enter day number I am writing short as NO for number I will put the dot as well okay so once you've got that you can go ahead and take scanf percentage D ampersand day and you can have a printf statement something of the effect uh, the day is and leave a space and which you will be printing according to the switch case. So the day is and then you can go ahead and write your switch case block switch for day open brackets and you can start case 1 and print f Monday so I left space already there so I'll just end this with a full stop and semicolon and print the break statement. I'll be copying and pasting this for the remaining 7. Sorry. Control C. So this will be case 2, case 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and this will be Tuesday, this will be Wednesday, this will be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday so we can go ahead and you can add your default case here 
uh, default so you can write in default case something like just invalid so it will just print as the day is invalid invalid and yes so we'll run a program enter the day number you can enter one it will print the day is monday see in that format or if you just wanted to print monday only you can take remove the statement and it you can just go ahead and put a slash in or even if you don't put a slash in doesn't matter so this is the uh, version you can go ahead and write something like 7 it will print the day is Sunday you can enter 10 and it will say the day is invalid you can even say the day is invalid enter only from 1 to 7 and so forth so this is how do you print the day of the week using the number now moving on to the month of a year I'm just going to make slight additions so go ahead and replace day with month for now in the printf and scanf statement and you can print the month is and replace this also with month and 1 2 3 this will repeat the same for 7 up till 12 so 8 9 10 11 and 12 so this will be 8 9 10 11 and 12 so you can change this will be January February March April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay. Yes. So we'll run the program. I think I've changed all the days to month. Yes. So enter month number can be one and we'll print the month is January. Print any random value seven. It will take the month is July. You can print 11. It will print the month is November and run for any value like 20 it will say that the month is invalid so I've edited the program for day to month the structure is the same the method the logic is also the same it's a very similar program to enter days of the week or months of the year thank you